What's going on everybody? How you doing? This is day three, January. What I'm playing you in today's video, I'm playing you Pantera. This song is called I Can't Hide. This was one of the extra songs, the additional studio recordings that they put on their live album, 101 Proof. If you're new here, please subscribe, check out my videos, all kinds of videos, reaction videos, bass videos, music videos, check it out. If you like the channel, you want to support the channel, you can super thanks underneath this video. You can hit me direct in the description. I got PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, Amazon Wishlist, mailing address, and I do donation requests. So if there's a something you want me to watch, listen to, talk about, hit me direct, PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, in the notes section, leave a description, leave a link, let me know what you want me to listen to and all make a video you can also email me at jpanreadsemail at gmail.com thank you guys all right so do i have any pantera stories let's see i was around for great southern tranquil this live album 101 proof reinventing the steel i luckily got to see them in new jersey before they split i saw them before reinventing the steel came out and they were incredible they were easily my favorite band back then like easily, easily my favorite band. Love the shit out of them and Deftones. I love both of those bands. I feel like I stayed with Deftones longer because Deftones is still, they're still around, right? They're still around, they're still doing things. They still are putting out records. I still really like them. So I feel like I stayed with Deftones longer, but Pantera I was like really, 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 really into. I was really into that down record, the first one, it just, uh, yeah. Pantera was just where it was at for me at that point. I picked this song because it's not one of their common songs, right? It was kind of like an extra on their live album. And I could have picked either one of them, but I really like this one. It's different for them. It's more, it's really fast. It's only a bit over two minutes. It's got more of a punk vibe, but still has all that Pantera energy. Yeah, I just, this band was everything back then to me. Everything. They're just fantastic. Incredible playing, great songs, awesome vocals. How do I feel about them touring now as what, they're, as what they are? Because that's happening like right now. I don't know. I just feel lucky that I saw them as Pantera. <laughs> Would I go out of my way to go and see them right now? No, I probably wouldn't. I probably probably wouldn't. Even though I like Zach Wild, I'm actually from the same town as Zach Wild, New Jersey. And my first bass teacher actually used to play in a band with Zach Wild when they were in high school. Which is wild. Zach Wild. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't go specifically to see them as the the weird formation of Pantera that they are right now. Especially like Rex has been missing some shows because he's sick and they're just flying in. Phil Anselmo's bass player, you know, guy that he uses on his solo stuff. Yeah, I'm just mostly glad that I saw them already. I'm just like, I feel super lucky that I got to see them because they're just sick. They're just like one of the sickest metal bands, period. That whole groove metal, they just had their own thing you know dimebag was in they're all fantastic they're all fantastic dimebag doll easily one of the greatest metal guitar players period just incredible just just sick and the fact that they like just were constantly drunk off their ass and able to play like that is just insane it's fully insane so this is pantera i can't hide it's a quick one it's gonna fly by let's do this bam
Everything that Pantera is in a tiny two minute and 15 second song. That's like everything. That's like everything. It had everything. Awesome Vinnie Paul drumming, just the grinding bass, right? It's just like grinding. Awesome guitar solo. You got Phil doing his thing. They're just so good. The breakdown at the end, that is just, that's awesome. It's awesome. Just everything, the energy, they're all about just like that raw, just like energy. It's just like wild and, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, I love this band. Super awesome. And I love this track. They got lots of great tracks that I liked, obviously, like, you know, mo pretty much all the records. I just decided to pick this one because it's not, it's not like a normal one. You know, like most people, it's like walk. And I'm like, Ugh. Walk? Really? Walk? Five minutes alone. I mean, okay, like, it's cool. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five minutes alone. Yeah, great. Great. Okay. How about Suicide Note Part 1, guys? How about that? Let's do that. Let's do... Let's do Great Southern Trek Hill. How about let's do that? How about let's do all this stuff off Far Beyond Dread? Just uh, lots of lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Incredible music. Yeah, other tracks. Yeah, yeah, they're they're a uh, Planet Caravan, super nice. Uh, yeah, uh, Hardline, Sunken Cheeks, Slaughtered. <sighs> Use my third arm, fantastic, fantastic. What else they got? Great Southern Trend Kill. I love this record. Drag the Waters, Floods, really awesome. War Nerve, yeah, and anything, damn near anything off of uh, Great Southern Trunk Hill I really liked. Okay, here's my other, Here's if you're still here, here's my other um, Pantera story that I forgot about. I actually have it. When I was 14, I think I was 14, I was walking down the road that I lived on in Jackson, New Jersey, and I found this, this way up on the side of the road and I picked it up and I saw it was Pantera and the only other experience that I had with Pantera was I played soccer on a team and at a practice one of the older kids was wearing a Pantera t-shirt to the soccer practice and I was making fun of him because I was just joking about like Pantera, Panther, Python, whatever you know I was just like a kid you know anyways and he's like you know stuff like that Anyways, however long later, I find this, and I go home, I take it, I go home, I put it in the CD player, and I play it, and I'm just like, what the fuck is this? This is incredible. I've never heard anything like this. This is what? And about half of this, and I still have it, right? It's right here. Half of it played. It got up to, it got up to, what did it get up to? It got up to rise. Like once it got to no good, it started really getting jacked up, right? Because this is like, I find it on the side of the road. It's super scratched. It's all, it's all kinds of jacked up. So that's how I got into them. Super awesome. Love this band. It's fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, I really like their, their, you know, far beyond driven. I mean, I like the classics that, you know, Cowboys from Hell, Vul Vulgar Display of Power. I like all that stuff, too. But, like, I really, really liked Far Beyond Driven. And then I was there for Great Southern Trek Hill reinventing this deal in 101. That just, you know, when you're there, it's different. That's why I bring it up to you guys so much about Rush. 
it's like it's like it's different if you lived it if you were there when they were being released and they, there's a different connection because you remember where you were it, 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 there's all those reminiscences right it's different i understand that i totally get the music is like that i mean it's also interesting from this point of view looking back and uh, you know there's so much music that you, you never if not for the recordings we wouldn't know we'd have no idea and thank god for recordings thank god for places like youtube right it's really fantastic that people can younger people new generations can find it and be put onto it because if not for all that stuff it would be gone and at some point it probably will be gone that you've seen that frank zappa interview where you know they're talking about legacy and he's just like who cares no one's gonna remember me in however many years anyways you know like it doesn't matter like it doesn't matter none of this matters and as dark as that is i understand <laughs> maybe that means i'm dark but i do understand what he's saying it's like yeah how many kids know frank sinatra right now have heard you know duke ellington right these bands they're not that many decades away from that <laughs> and they're they're not like it or not they're not so yeah interesting Pantera, gotta love them. Fucking awesome. Fucking awesome. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I have no idea what I'm gonna play you guys tomorrow, but it'll be something different because what have I played you so far? Robert Plant, Al Green, Pantera. Oh my god. What am I gonna play you tomorrow? It's gotta be, it can't be something heavier than Pantera. It's gotta be, uh, it's gotta be, maybe I'll play you some jazz, maybe some funk, maybe some band, some singer songwritery stuff. Who knows? Some blues. It'll be something. I'll catch you guys in the next video.